I remember the first DB I ever went to and female and male in a relationship and she had actually been strangled. She had clear injuries and you could hear in her voice that she clearly had some kind of injury to her throat and vocal cords. One in four women will experience intimate partner violence. Of women who are high risk, up to 68% will experience near fatal strangulation by their partner. So we know a lot about risk factors um, for future domestic homicide. So it's about recognising that where certain things are present in a person's life, they're more at risk of committing domestic and family violence homicides. Not only if you've been strangled once, are you more likely to be strangled by your partner again, you're eight times more likely to be killed by that partner should you remain in the relationship. The moment when a partner is separating from their other partner is one of the highest risk times in a domestic violence relationship. Animal cruelty is another obviously risk factor that is of significant concern. So if you have one risk factor and then you look at most of the time we're going to jobs where there's numerous risk factors present, that to me indicates that we have to be doing something to help this person. The one that stands out in my mind the most is we've received multiple calls for service for a job. We arrive there and we find her standing on the roof of the carport next door. You could see when we went there and spoke to her, the fear in her eyes, the legitimate, I felt like I was, my life was in danger just from the respondent. The lack of understanding or remorse or that he had done something wrong, just, uh, yeah, it's, it's always stuck with me.